there's going to be a series uh, every Thursday night of uh, readers. Uh, the, the, the free beer event uh, is from 5 to 7, and every Thursday at 6 p.m., people are going to read a, a 10 minute uh, reading. Uh, this is note, Notes on Public Sculpture from 1971, when I was a consultant to the city for the Central Embarcadero Project. Sculpture is about the relationship of forms and space. It should grace the landscape, not be symmetrical. Use the geometry of nature. Have good proportions. Be controversial at first. Become a thing of pride to the public. Have a subject. Make a point. Be symbolic of something. Not be generic abstract. Should be sensitive to where it is. Work with its neighboring objects. Emphasize local character. Have a social element. Use shadows. Be a spirit in the dark. It is an object that draws you to it, has poetry or te technological information, predicts the future, allows your imagination to travel to the past. It should bring people up to the level of art. Fight against a world of standardization. Have layers of meaning. Be open to interpretation. Not be painted red. A little red goes a long way. It should have more than one side. Not emit obnoxious sounds. Consider acoustics. Reject vandalism. Encourage participation. This was for an exhibition at the Oakland Museum in 1999 that Bill Wiley organized. What is art for? And I faxed him this list. For beauty. For history. For decorating apartments. For people to laugh at. For imitating nature. For therapy. For seeing in a new way. For an educated audience. For enlightenment. For political agendas. For glorifying the church in the Renaissance. For glorifying the state under communism for glorifying the rich in capitalism, for recording society in a poetic way.